Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. Welcome to our channel and thank you for watching again. Today is January 2, 2021 and it's currently 10.49 in the morning, Netherlands time. It is quite cold today. It's a bit foggy. This is the view from our kitchen. So today, the temperature is 3 degrees Celsius, but it feels like 1 degree Celsius. So, how did you celebrate your new year, guys? Because of COVID, there are a lot of restrictions. Here in the Netherlands, there is only uh, a number of people that is allowed to visit you. If I'm not mistaken, maximum two, not more. Of course, the authorities will not be able to look after the houses where, whether they are following the rules. But these are set for your safety and protection. So if you love yourself and love others, then you will follow it without others looking at you or without the police uh, inspecting it, right? So what, what shall we do today? What I am going to show you is how to make sure that when we move houses, we will have as much as possible, very little amount of refrigerated food. This is how our kitchen looks like. I'll just twist my camera. So normally, you will have built-in cabinets already placed. So, and we have a lot, so both up and down. Excuse on the messy kitchen. And then we have our dishwasher in there. Dishwasher is a necessity here in Netherlands, I must say, or I think in Europe because we also have this in Germany. And then, of course, we are Asian, so we have rice cooker in here. And then typical stove in there. Um, the Netherlands government is going to uh, plan for all the households to transition to uh, an electric uh, stove. Because it's much more sustainable to use electricity than to use gas. And then we have here... A combi oven which is also a microwave and an oven it's quite old we have a simple exhaust in there right and then we have a built-in refrigerator we have a lot of sinampai in here <laughs> typical <laughs> houses um, in the Philippines will also have sinampai somewhere <laughs> Um, so this is our refrigerator here how it looks like right now and later we will remove all of them one by one all right now it's better Aside from the objective of reducing the amount of refrigerated items that we are going to uh, transfer and look at stuff that are already expired, food items have expiration date, have best before dates, and these are set because the manufacturers knew that is, it is the duration that the food is at its prime quality and sometimes for other kinds of food still safe to eat. 
I also wanted to encourage everyone to maybe weekly check the items that you are putting in your refrigerator and see whether which ones are fast moving, basic stuff that you guys are normally using every week. And also check those that are slow moving. It's also good for the refrigerator if it's not too much congested inside such such that the air circulation will be better so the temperature the right temperature will be even more distributed in each of the items that you put inside all right so let's start Okay, so now it's empty. It's actually a little dirty, so I need to clean it up later, wash it, uh, and then turn it on again. And these are the stuff inside um, the refrigerator. And what I would do is sort them out, look for which ones are expired, and then those that are still able to be consumed, what we shall do is to plan a dish or a meal behind them. Nakakahiya naman if this will just go to trash. There's a lot of people who are not able to eat properly, right? So now close uh, the refrigerator and start sorting. Okay, so... This is how it looks like. I have medicines in here. And then we have here um, <clears throat> basic items. And these are still good. We have a lot of eggs because it's our go-to uh, protein. And then we have beverages in there. And then we have some cooked stuff that are still okay to eat. These are the ones that we need to throw away. So this is how it looks like afterwards. The stuff that needs to be eaten first are on the top. Condiments on the second level. And then uh, we have Brutus food and some cooked stuff already on uh, this area. And then we have the medicine. And then we have stocked arranged in here. We don't have a lot of stuff in the freezer now because Brutus is not eating a lot of solids. So breast milk is directly from me already uh, since we work from home a lot. I'd like to show you how the freezer looks like inside. So there are three shelves, three drawers. And then on the top I have um, dim sum. And I have shop pao. I In here I have ice because Benji like pearl milk tea we have some bitter balen which is very typical Dutch um, Dutch delicacy or Dutch snack and then I have fish cake which I will use also for tokpoki and then here I have bitter balen more bitter balen I have here chicken stock that I can use and some frozen vegetables so i just need to make sure to use them up they are not expired yet the temperature of this freezer is really good now i will put up a list of what i would cook and what i will prepare and plan it on a weekly basis so i'll go back later to show you the list <laughs> Hello, natalog, natalog kami dalawa ng anak ko after breastfeeding. So, so basically tonight I will execute the first dish. Madali lang siya. So it's fried rice with corned beef. Kasi may tira kami corned beef in our refrigerator. And then we also have leftover um, 
dried fish. So, this is how it looks like. Simple lang. Yeah, tira-tira na siya. And then, I have a small amount of rice to fry. May natira pa kaming corn beef ko. So, this is just enough. So, I'm just, um, it a little bit crispy sana and dried. I hope it will focus. Lagay ko lang yung rice. Kasi na ito sa aming dalawa. And this, uh, this plate, I will not wash it yet. We can put the fried rice later. We need to save water. We should not, especially I know it's clean. We should... Pero if the, if the plate is already dirty, please, please wash it. It's um, aromat. And it contains um, balanced ingredients. Take it because it doesn't overpower um, the taste of the dish. So I will just use it here. Not much because we also need to watch the amount of salt that we are consuming. I hope I can finish it in a moment and then we can have our dinner. For those people na magagaling magluto, a lot of them doesn't taste the dish anymore and just serve it because most of the time they know how it tastes. For my case, kasi hindi naman tayo kagalingan magluto, we need to taste it, no? We need to be happy with what we've created and what we are going to serve to the family para masaya din sila when they eat. So we still have some some um, corn beef. I think one more round, okay. and then I left over fish. I think I need to buy a spare battery. If you are just planning to eat kapsilog, silog meals, just prepare them at home. <laughs> Ang dali-dali pong magluto ng silog meals. So easy. And it's so, it's so cheap. Kung nagtitipid kayo, this is not the dish that you should eat outside. Siguro yung mga dishes na you can't uh, prepare at home. So this is our food for tonight. Wala kaming ginastos. We just used leftovers. Hindi po sunog yung corned beef. Gusto ko lang talaga tostado. Okay. So, this is the result of the menu planning for this month using ingredients we have in our refrigerator and from our freezer. And, um, I hope you find this useful. Open your fridge and there would be a lot of surprises.